Ah, yes. Quake 3 Arena. Whenever you think of the gold standard in Arena FPS, what other game do you think about? I mean, really. If you love Quake 3, Arena, FPS, indie games, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, we're talking about what Quake 3 means to me and what it means to everybody else. Listen, Quake 3 was one of the first games I ever had on a computer. And I didn't even have the full game, I had the demo. The demo! You know, when I started making and recording this video, I forgot how hard Nightmare is. I really did, I forgot how hard Nightmare is. And I thought it'd be a lot easier now since I've got better at Quake. Man, Nightmare is hard. Yeah. So before there was free to play games, there was demos. And demos took forever to download, even on dial up. So some, some people got demos from PC Gamer Magazine or whatever. One of those games just happened to be Quake 3 Arena. The demo. And the demo, what it included, it included like one single player map, but it lets you play online. It lets you play online and it lets you play DM17. Quake 3 DM17, the map you see here. I couldn't tell you how much and how long I played this demo on this map. Hours upon hours. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now granted, this, this was back in 1998. So, just being able to like play a game like this in 1998 was incredible. You have taken the one of the first games I ever played online, next to like Team Fortress Classic. Eventually, I finally bought Quake 3, like gold or something from Walmart. It was like on sale for like 20 bucks, I think. I don't know. But even then, back then, the 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 CD key entry never really worked i don't know I, I wish somebody would actually tell me in the comment section down below if they ever had to enter the cd key and it actually worked because whenever i played it it never worked it's like it, they didn't care they just wanted you to buy it regardless but they didn't care if you played online or not i don't know then you got to play on whenever you got the full game you can play all these amazing mods you had insta unlag which is very popular for dial up people such as myself uh excessive ctf was amazing space ctf freeze tag all these amazing games that ran great uh, even on dial up it was great and then this game released on dreamcast and you could play online on it it was amazing guys i'm telling you i love quake 3 so much that i got a quake 3 tattoo and I don't think I ever really learned how to really play it. Like, dueling was never a, a thought in my mind. Like, today, a lot of people like to duel in Quake. I, the dueling happened whenever I play Insta Unlag Tournament. But then you got to stick around and see everybody else duel. It's just so different compared to Quake Champions these days. Uh, the, whenever you think of Quake, in my mind, Quake 3... And essentially Quake Live, since Quake Live is Quake 3 enhanced, is the top tier Quake game, at least online. At least online. Now, Quake 3 did have a single player game, but it was mostly like play these bots, unlock tiers, and level up. It had a cast of all kinds of characters you could choose, basically just skins. And a, a game similar to this, Unreal Tournament, done the same thing. Like, you go through these tiers, and you try to get to the end. And essentially, you can beat this game, but really, it's just preparing you to fight online. Back in my younger days, I beat Zero. I beat Zero on Nightmare. I forgot what kind of achievement that was. Because I struggled the whole time to try to kill this guy. This bot. This nightmare bot. Z 
Zero is no joke. It really was and still is an accomplishment to beat this guy one on one on Zero's map. It is crazy. Crazy difficult. I can't believe how difficult this game th this guy was. It, it just it's crazy. Look how bad I am getting beat right now. I mean, I can't do anything. It's ridiculous. So I kept trying and trying and trying. And guys, I just never could beat him again. I think you have to play this on a CRT on Windows 98 to do it. I don't think it's possible on modern hardware. I don't know. Now, I'm using the Quake 3E engine now. And I plan to make a video on that here soon uh, about what engine to use now here in 2021. But keep on watching, guys. I'm going to read off some comments. Uh, some of you fans have left on the comment section uh, on the, the shorts video I made. Hazami Toxic Sion. Quick 3 means to me a game that has some fast paced and thematic shooter. The cool tracks that tries to push a player into action. It was not the best for me. It had some fun side and still has that fun. But I really would like to see a campaign for Quake 3 as well. Hazami, I believe there is sort of a single player Quake 3 mod out there. You should check it out. Remark right in the gameplay of Quake 3 is so uniquely inspiring. The game is incredibly free form and grants the player the means to create a personnel and signature approach to their individual style of play. The incredible fast and responsive movement and what you're able to do with a varied weapon arsenal you have really lets you express yourself in the arena environment. As a player, it is your mechanical and cognitive skill that solely determines how far you can push the game's limitations to. One needs to examine the gameplay of Legendary Pros to witness this. Cooler's movement strengths his ability to mechanically overwhelm his opponents. Raph's ability to turn the game into a match of pure brain, power, and wits. I could go on and on here. New games have departed significantly from this, often way too scripted, mechanically bloated, and cinematic to enable players the freedom to express themselves through gameplay, as was possible on the canvas of Quake 3. Well said. Since these four are relatively short, I'm going to read them all at once. Benjamin, Quake 3 was the first Quake I ever played. It is the reason I got hooked to Quake Live. The nostalgia? The maps felt like home. Maps like Nameless Place, The Longest Yard, and Heroes Keep, just to name a few. Android ferret animals and games. I love it. I play it all the time on my phone. He must have an Android. Cold blue light. I love Quake 3. The low poly worlds feel more lived in, more alive. YBT. Quake 3 to me is a work of art. The way the physics and the weapons work are so smooth. Best FPS in my opinion. And our final one, Brad Spit. Quake 3 Arena was lover first frag. I was playing land parties with my friends, modding Quake 2, and jumped on original demos for Quake 3. And Quake 3 brought me into the skinning and art scene from old Planet Quake days. Man oh man, Planet Quake, that's what I'm talking about. Digitally making new friends and doing stupid videos and skirmish fights and trick jumping of various fan created maps. Fan since Quake 1 though, Ranger is my main, but using the head swaps command, I would have Tank Jr. head on Ranger body. Try it sometime, it's awesome. Who remembers the head model swap? That was awesome. Guys, I really appreciate you leaving comments on this video. There's, a, I think there might've been a few more, but that was after the fact. So I appreciate all your comments and taking the time to comment on that video so I could share what you guys love about Quake 3. You guys love it as much as I do. It has been an amazing game. Amazing game. So is Quake 3 still played today? Of course it is. You can host your own server. So look at this. There are still active servers. So guys, you hit that subscribe button. I can finally show you guys how to get Quake 3 Arena for free. It's in a little more early gray area, but 
I can show you guys how to do it. It's not that difficult. But, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out this next video. Follow me on Twitter, at the Smango. Sometimes I stream on the Smango on Twitch. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out this other video. We'll see you guys next time here on Quick Fans.